With its first detection dated in 2015, the malware Pegasus, made by the Israeli cyber surveillance company NSO Group, has been used by governments worldwide to infect the phones of activists, journalists, and human rights defenders. With the support of Amnesty International and the Citizen Lab, Forensic Architecture's digital violence investigation has for the first time mapped the global landscape of cyber infections and told the stories of those being surveilled and intimidated. Dozens of people from all over the world spoke to us remotely about their experiences, despite knowing the risks of provoking additional surveillance. They included journalists targeted by Pegasus, Activa tu propio teléfono, activa tu propia cámara, tu propio micrófono. Human rights defenders, they are threats. Of course you have fear. And community figures who told us that being hacked is a form of violence. On te met devant les gens et on te déshabille et on t'interdit même de, de protéger ta vie. C'est une violence. C'est une violence. We also spoke to lawyers pursuing the NSO group for accountability. Bring another case to the court would be helpful for us to show that there is a pattern in their uh, behavior. To understand these stories and reveal patterns in how Pegasus is used, we have collected data from dozens of reports by the Citizen Lab, legal files, hundreds of news articles, as well as corporate documents collected by Amnesty International. This produced the most complete database of Pegasus infections worldwide, which we have plotted in an interactive, continuously updated platform. The project reveals that hacks rarely target individuals alone. Digital infection moves like a contagion within networks of collaboration and friendship. And those digitally infected suffer acts of violence in the physical world. This platform also shows how investigators, journalists, human rights defenders, and lawyers seeking accountability were themselves targeted. Investigating the financial structure of the NSO group reveals how private investment expands the corporate network within which the NSO group is nested, and how it helped the proliferation of this repressive technology around the world. We collaborated with Brian Eno to create a work of data sonification to the digital platform. Together, our digital violence project reveals the global landscape of a new digital battlefield in which a private company helps states wage war against their own people.